Welcome to Faculty of Science. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. There are other subject-wise videos are available in our playlist. Try to watch all those videos; it will definitely help you in your preparations. Ethics in public administration. First one is maximum of legality and rationality. An administrator will follow the law and rules that are framed to govern. That are framed to govern. and guide various categories of policies and decision second one maximum of responsibility and accountability an administrator would not hesitate to accept the responsibility for his decision and action he would hold himself morally responsible for the, his action and for the use of his discretion while taking decision moreover he would be willing to be held accountable to high authorities of governance and even to the people who are the ultimate beneficiaries of his decision decision and also actions third one is maximum maximum of transparency an administrator will take decision and implement them in a transparent manner so that those affect the by the decision taken by the administrator and those who wish to evaluate their rationality will be able to understand the reason behind such decisions and the source of information on which these decisions were made fourth one is maxim of responsiveness and resilience an administrator would respond effectively the demands and challenges from the from the external as well as well as internal environment the administrator would respond effectively to the demands and challenges from the external as well as internal environment he would adapt to environmental transformation and yet sustain the ethical norms of conduct the fifth one is maximum of work commitment an administrator would be committed to his duties and perform his work with involvement intelligence and dexterity this one is maximum of fusion an administrator would rationally bring about a fusion of individual organizational and social goals to help evolve union of ideals and impact in his behavior a commitment to such a fusion in situation of conflicting goals a concern of ethics should govern the choice made so the one is maximum of utilized terms while taking and implementing policies and decision as administrator will ensure that this lead to greatest good happiness and benefit of greatest number of, of people the eighth one is maximum of com compassion an administrator with without violating the prescribed laws and rules would demonstrate compassion for the poor the disabled the weak section in the society by using his discretion in making decision ninth one is maximum of integrity an administrator would undertake administrative action on the basis of his honesty and not use power position and discretion to serve his personal interest and the intelligent and the illegitimate interest of others individuals or group fifth uh, tenth one is maximum of justice those responsible for formation and execution of policies and decision of governance would ensure that respect is shown to the principle of equality equity fairness impartiality and objective and no special favor or made out on the criteria of status position power gender class caste or wealth right lambda one is maximum of national interest a civil servant while performing duties would keep in view the impact of his action on nation's strength and prestige the third one is maximum of excellence an administrator could ensure the highest standards of quality in administrative decision and actions and would not compromise with standards because of convenience and 
conferences. So these are about the ethics in public administration. This one is about a question. The question is this, what is meant by public interest? The first part of the question is what is meant by public interest and second part of the question is what are the principles and procedures to be followed by civil servant in public interest? So look at the first part of the question, public interest. The term public interest means matter concerning welfare of the people. A civil service or public servant, public service is for the welfare of the people. As such policies and their implementation should guide by public interest and public welfare. Right. All government works have the overriding motive of public interest. Civil servants should be guided solely by public interest in their of official decision making. Second part of the question, the principles and procedures. Any financial or other consideration either in respect of themselves, families or friends is to be avoided. Public interest should be sole principle, sole principle consideration of decision making. Violation of code of conduct or wrongdoing results in penalty including suspension and termination from service or prosecution of civil servants under the relevant laws such as CRPC and Prevention of Corruption Act. If a policy that is being formulated is perceived by the civil servant to be against public interest, against the public interest, his or her responsibility is to convince the political executive about the adverse implication of such policy. However, the political executive does not agree with such advice. There is little that the civil servant can do other than putting his or her views clearly on record. Institutional mechanisms such as parliament, CAG, judiciary and ultimately electorate hold political executive to account for bad policies which ignores public interest. Second question is, what is meant by conflict of interest illustrates with examples difference between actual and potential conflict of interest. It is a situation that has the potential to undermine, potential to undermine the impartiality of a person because of possibility of clash, because of possible clash between personal interest and a professional interest or public interest. A civil servant is expected to be free of such conflict. A civil servant is expected to be free of such conflict to discharge his or her duties responsibly. The conflict of interest impairs one's judgment of a situation and after affects the decision making. Right. Personal or private interest should not improperly influence the performance of official duties or responsibilities. A conflict of interest involves a direct conflict between one's official duties and responsibilities and a competing interest or obligation, whether personal or involving the third party. It refers to a situation where a conflict is inevitably established such as acceptance of gifts or hospitality from company which one may dealing with one's official capacity. A potential, a potential conflict of interest arises where an interest or obligation, whether personal or involving a third party, could in conflict the source official duties and responsibility in future. It refers to situation where a possible anomaly might arise. Such a conflict of in immediately family interest unless disclosure are made with the respect of initiative and investment and distortion. We can read this question and the answer also. See, this is explain the pro process of involved in resolving ethical dilemmas in public administration. Some of the most common ethical dilemmas in which public servants are comforted to revolve around assets such as administrative discretion, corruption, nepotism, administrative secrecy information leaks, public accountability and policy dilemmas. Dilemma would be overcome through the ethical decision making process. 
it is characterized as a source cause of action of choosing from alternatives which are based on civil service values moral responsibility and personal accountability of public administrators towards the society the decision has reflect respect for personal values and principles and norms a bureaucrat should answer the following questions which are the main factors influencing the decision what are its consequences what does the action benefit would the action embrace the department of or society at large is the problem really what it appears to be is the action fully legal or ethical these guidelines help to clarify whether the action is socially responsible so sometimes there is no clear answer to all questions all ethical and moral issues along with public policies laws rules and regulations are to kept in mind while resolving a dilemma the final decision action after evaluation should be consonant with the laws and ethics antony mark demeter set out the alir model of imperatives of ethical reasoning a set of basic principles that integrate and rearrange the process in dealing with ethical dilemmas the four functional related imperatives are the principle of democratic legitimacy and accountability of public bureaucracy and administration the rule of law and principle of legality whereby law and only law should govern the administration the principle the principle meritocracy professional integrity autonomy and capacity of the administrative apparatus of the state the principle responsiveness and responsibility of administration to civil society you can read this question and answer you can also read this question it's very simple uh, good answers are i think you even is also here it's all are about about this video uh, about most of it is about the public servant public at ethics in public administration if you like the video please subscribe our channel please share the video with your friends there are subject wise videos that are available in our playlist try to watch all those videos it will definitely help you in your preparation thanks for watching